Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, are you ready to demand for your daily bread? And someone say, should I demand for my daily bread? Jesus said we should. Now, he is the embodiment of wisdom. He is the one like we read yesterday. He is the one God has given authority to give eternal life to all flesh. Now, if he says do something like this, then he is telling you that is how to achieve it. So he says, give us this day our daily bread. Now, he's your father. The reason he says, ask for it. Not because he forgets to give you. No, but because you need to acknowledge the fact that he gives it to you. See, you need to acknowledge the fact that that budget has been made for you on a daily basis. So when you make the demand, now the angels realize that you know. So what do they do? They keep, they keep the testimony of producing it to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that's why we pray this prayer. So are you ready for us to pray now? Say, Father, today I demand and receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Just a short prayer, power but powerful. And it's producing a miracle in your life right now now praise god let's pray father we bless you today as we go on to look into your word bodies right now are being lifted yokes are being destroyed in the name of the lord jesus christ amen praise god we've been talking about the purpose hope and the manifestation of god's calling in your life now if you've not been following you need to go listen from monday you you need to listen to everything not just this one praise god and if you haven't liked us yet on youtube if you haven't liked our page yet and and put uh, subscribe to our page yet and then put uh, um, a notification so when the broadcast is put up you'll be among the first to know and you can watch it immediately do so subscribe to our channel youtube channel and just Share it also. Don't just keep it to yourself. Don't keep this message to yourself. Share it and let others, let your friends be blessed. Praise God. So now we've been on the purpose of God's calling. And I said the purpose, why did God call us? His heart, his intention is to give us life. His intention is to give us eternal life. And he packaged that life and put it in Jesus. So Jesus is the one now that has been given the authority to give us life. You hear me? That was the main reason why even Jesus had to die. And I say, how? I mean, someone who came to give us life, why should he die? Because, you see, to be the minister of eternal life, hear me, that's why the Bible says he is able to save us to the uttermost. So that's why you find Jesus saying this, that look, anyone who believes in me, he was talking to Martha, though he dies or though he's dead, he will rise again. What an assurance. The reason is because this man, Jesus, have shown that he actually have been given the authority of life. So even when he died, he didn't need us to pray for him to rise from the dead. He rose he told them in three days i will rise again on the third day he rose again <laughs> praise god he rose again to show to prove that he's got authority in heaven on earth and in hell to give life now one of the things he went to do when he died is actually to give life to those people who had died before him do you understand that jesus went to the grave he went to the regions of death to give life to those who had died before him now that's why the bible said in matthew chapter 27 that when jesus rose from the dead some of you have never seen that scripture i think i need to show you that scripture today matthew chapter 27 there are certain things you 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 read and you're like for real <laughs> yes for real praise god matthew chapter 27 and verse, hmm. let me start from verse 50. 
now so that you understand the background verse 50 jesus when he had cried again with a loud voice yielded up the ghost and behold the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent now look at verse 52 and the graves were opened the graves the graves not his grave alone now the graves now this is not talking about when he resurrected yet he is talking about when he cried out and yielded up the ghost he says physically there was earthquake and when that earthquake was taking place suddenly graves started opening and the graves were opened and many bodies he didn't say everybody that died he says many bodies of the saints which slept arose what does it mean which slept people who have died people like abraham isaac people like david people like jacob people like joseph all those saints of old that you read about elisha jeremiah isaiah all those saints of old that had died before then praise god except with the exception of enoch and Elijah and Moses, because those ones did not, there was, they were, is on record that they did not die. Some say, but the Bible says, um, God told Moses to go and die. No, that's the, what the translators took. But in reality, Moses did not die. Praise God. So how do you know Moses didn't die? Of course, you read in the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus had a meeting with two people. <laughs> he had a meeting with two people, Elijah and Moses. Now we know Elijah was taken up by a chariot. They saw him go with chariot. Now Moses, no one saw him die. Are you getting what I'm saying? God just said, go up the mountains. Now what do you think happened when he went up the mountains? Remember, ah, should we go into this now? <laughs> Praise God. The Bible says, Satan came to contend for the body of Moses. Now what does that mean? It didn't mean Moses died. You know, I, I know the, the scripture is rendered God buried Moses himself. No, 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 no. This is exactly, I'm telling you what happened. How do you know that this is what happened? Of course, the Spirit of God has been given to us. Ask him. Praise God. Ask him. Ask him. He'll tell you. And the Lord said, look, when God told Moses, your time is up. Now it is, and this is what happens to a lot of people. So God says, your time is up. And then Moses agreed. All right, my time is up. If you say so. He protested, but God said, no, no, no. It's time. So, all right. I'll go. Because Moses had done something wrong. See? So, God says, go up the mountain. And then Moses was going up the mountain. Then the spirit of death came for him. Because that's what it does. Anyone that wants to leave this earth, the spirit of death comes to, to do what? To take him as a prisoner. Now that's why death has been reigning ever since. Are you getting what I'm saying? But when that happened, no, God had to send an angel. No, you are dead. You are not getting Moses' body. No, you are not getting Moses' body. I'm taking him up by myself. That was the contention that took place concerning Moses' body. Death wanted him to die. But God says, no. An angel had to go and tell death, the Lord rebukes you. Now, question, why isn't the Lord rebuking the spirit of death over everyone else that believe in the Lord? Over every other prophet, over every word of man of God. You understand what I'm saying? Over every believer. We'll talk about that another day. Praise God. But that's what happened in the case of Moses. God said, hey! The Lord rebukes you. Now, the Bible have told us death is an enemy of God. But because we haven't believed yet. Thank you, Jesus. So that's why I said Moses didn't die. So now you find Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. Elijah showing up. Moses showing up. And they were having a meeting. Now, this was not a meeting with dead people. This was a meeting with people who came down from heaven. And they were fellowshipping with Jesus. Did you get that now? Praise God. Now, all right. So now he says, the graves were opened, and the many bodies of the saints which had slept arose. And, what, what and came out of the graves after his resurrection. You see that? They didn't come out when he died. Now that's to tell you when Jesus went down in the, to the regions of death, what did he do? He gave, he gave life to men. 
men who had died. He told Martha, those who believe in me, even though they were dead, how did they believe in him? Because the gospel was preached to Abraham, praise God. The gospel was preached to every saint of old. Yes, the gospel was preached to them. They knew, they knew there was someone coming. They knew there was a hope that was ahead of them. They knew that they were not supposed to die. They knew that God had a plan for them. And most of them began to prophesy this thing. Joseph said, hey, guys, look. I'm going to die, but God is surely going to visit you and he will take you out of this place. When he's taking you out, carry my bones with you. Why did he say they should carry his bones? Because he had a revelation in his heart that he's not going to remain dead forever. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, hmm. So he says, and verse 53 now, John chapter 27, verse 3, and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many brothers and sisters. This is not a folk tale. This is something that can be verified. The writer said they appeared to many. So suddenly there was a knock on someone's door. Hey, whose street is this? <laughs> And he says, oh, this is, um, you know, something, something street. He said, okay, this house looks like the house that uh, I, I, I built. Or, or, or so. what, what's going on with all the tents that we had in this place? Sorry, who are you? I'm Abraham. Okay, Abraham what, please? <laughs> Abraham. Um, Abraham, yeah, oh, that's your only name? Hey, Abraham, the father of Isaac. The grandfather of Jacob. Ah! Who? Yes, I'm Abraham. I just came back. Praise <laughs> God. Wow, what an experience that could have been. Praise God. Think about it. Think about it. Think about your great grandfather coming to you now and say, Hey, I'm your grand great grandpapa. You say, What do you mean, my great grandpapa? So, so, and so person. Huh? Really? Wait, wait. I think we had your picture. We have your picture. So, hey, look. Huh? Oh, oh, you know, if you go around and telling someone, look, ah, someone can, is there, please, something is wrong with you, praise God. Wow. Now, what am I saying? Jesus has been given authority, so he went to the regions of death, gave life to men. Now, if he could give life to men that were dead before him, how much more can he give life to the living? Brothers and sisters, we have not believed in Jesus yet. We are toying around thinking we believe in Jesus. If he would give life to men who were already dead, how much more will he give life to them that are living today? Think about it. If he will go give life to dead people, then that should tell you something. He didn't desire for them to die. Get this, the purpose of Jesus, the purpose of your calling, the reason God says, hey, come believe the gospel, come believe in Jesus Christ, is this, that he may give life to you. You need to let that sink in your heart. Before we go talking about the hope and the manifestation, you need to let this sink in your heart. God sent Jesus to give us life. The reason you are a believer in Jesus is that you will have life. The reason God called you from wherever you are, whoever you are, you may have been an occultist, you may have been a, a prostitute, you may have been an arm robber, you may have been a killer, you may have been whosoever you are, you may have been a what they call that thing now, Jones man, who everywhere, you know, anybody can push you around. Yes, whoever you are, he said, whosoever believes in him should have life. Now read this last scripture in 1 John. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 1 John, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 12. 1 John 5 and verse 12. 12. I'll read that scripture quickly and then thank you Lord Jesus. 1 John chapter 5 verse 12. Look at what it says. It says hallelujah. Verse 11 and 12 says and this is the record that God had given to us eternal life and this life is in his son. He that has the son 
has life. And he that had not the Son of God had not life. This life is in Jesus. It's in no other person, no other place, no other activity or work, but in Jesus Christ. So without Jesus, you can never get this life. Praise God. Now that's the purpose of his calling in our life, that you receive life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tomorrow, we'll go into the hope and we'll begin to look at the manifestation of his calling in our lives. God bless you. I hope this has been a blessing to you. If it is, I want to hear from you. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't, and then put on the notification. Praise God. God bless you. Step out today knowing one thing. God has given life, and you will walk in that life. Bye-bye.